Hi guys, it's Gina. I'm back again. Today I went to my P.O. Box. Big P.O. Box reveal. Huge P.O. Box reveal this time. One. Two. Three. Shoppers. That shows you I haven't been there in three weeks, y'all. I was bad. And a letter said... By the, I have to pay for my P.O. box by the end of the month. Um, I think I'm going to pass this time, y'all. Um, I want to say I did do a P.O. box earlier um, opening. I got a track from a subscriber. Thank you so much. Someone that watched one of my videos saw my P.O. box. Sent me a tract about Jesus. Thank you. Gave me an opportunity to tell people, yes, I got a tract. Yes, I love Jesus. And... That was awesome, so thank you. Secondly, I want to say thank you to everybody that worked at the polls yesterday, um, worked at the Board of Elections locally, um, at the state level, federal level. If you all had anything to do with working the polls, working behind the scenes, couriers, van drivers, um, which are the people that come by and pick up the equipment afterwards, to any of you that did that, thank you. That was a very early morning for most of you, except for the van drivers. They come around at night because they drop the, at least here, they drop the machine off um, a day or two before because it's cleared out. There's nothing on there. But at the end of the night, because there's data on there, they have to come and pick it up that night. So I, kn I know from... For, Years of, you know, I worked the polls for years, so I, I know, and I had to stay at the polls for years till midnight sometimes. Sometimes later, some people have been there till 3.30 in the morning waiting to get picked up. Anywho, thank you to all of the brand new election inspectors that um, may or may not have had schooling this year. Um, or their schooling was very reduced, um, condensed, and in very small classes, so you didn't get all the questions asked that you normally would. Thank you to all of you that signed up this year to work that were brand new election inspectors, never done it before. Thank you to all the, the returning people that are inspectors, chairmans, co-chairmans, um, anybody that did backup, um, Thank you to um, people, I'm going to say thank you to Joyce, to Kelly, to Mindy, to Adam, um, to our van drivers that out in the area that I've I dealt with for years. Uh, thank you to all of them because, let me tell you, without them, I know from working there, when, you know, when I've, I've worked, when I have worked the polls, and stuff they were a phenomenal support they were there to make sure that the voters got to vote that we were able to have any kind of support that we needed that we were able to answer questions and that we were able to make sure that things ran smoothly and um, we got everything taken care of so that people that you the people that vote to come in and cast your, your ballot. Um, there are so many people that you all don't realize that work not just front lines on that one, the, the people that you see working at your local precinct or uh, parish where you vote, but also for all of the people that work behind the scenes that have to be there to answer the phones in New York State they, the people at the Board of Elections are there at, at, at I know, at 5 a.m. Because that's when we have to be there. The election workers have to be there at 5 a.m. to open up at 6. Secondly, um, and we close at 9 p.m. So you're not getting out of there until at least 945 at the earliest. Um, sometimes the pe person to meet the courier gets out of there 930, 940, um, to go meet the courier, to take our tape, our poll worker card, our, all that stuff that we, they need to have back to the board of elections 
quickly, efficiently, so those go straight in for the data, and they can get our um, election results in to the New York State system right away. Um, they are some of the most hardworking, efficient people out there on election day, let me tell you. Joyce, Kelly, Mindy, um, Adam, all these people, they, I mean, they make things work. Um, they are the ones that have been doing this um, for years. So I know that there are some uh, gentlemen that work up there in the office as well. Um, thank you to all the um, people that work at the sites. Um, you know, thank you to our state especially i don't i can't speak for other states i know this year they were provided ppe equipment um they were provided with um like paper towels virex which is a viral cleaner um it kills viruses and um bacteria on surfaces um that was provided uh they were provided face shields mask um not just for themselves, but for the people coming in, if they needed one, um, all this stuff. So, gloves, I mean, there there were a lot of things provided, I know. Um, I kind of got into a little bit of the behind-the-scenes stuff, you know, just because I did it for so many years, folks. I really had. I, I, I've, you know, I... And I know people that do it. And let me tell you, they are good folks. Um, so thank you. Thank you to the people in other states um, that worked hard yesterday to do the elections. It, I know how, how hard that work is, you know, just saying from having been a poll worker, thank you. Um, you know, whoever you voted for or voted against um i'm not talking about those decisions that's up to y'all um you know i just want people to go out and vote um another thing i'm going to mention too um i know that this is the case in new york state and i would think that this would be the case in most every precinct in the the country would have this um on the door and stuff um you cannot go in your polling sites with anything with a candidate's name on it or the a candidate's slogan on it pictures any of that stuff you cannot go in and do that um so if you are wearing a hat for a specific candidate or if you're wearing like a mask with a um a specific candidate's name face slogan anything like that um a t-shirt don't wear that into the polls you can't wear that we have to ask y'all um to please take that off turn it inside out do what you gotta do um but it's called electioneering and that's illegal, and we have to ask y'all, I've had to ask people, you know, and I don't want to do it, I don't, I have to, I've had to, um, it's just part of the job, um, requirement and stuff, so for all of you that vote, please don't wear anything in there that's political, um, Another thing, if you live up here in New York State, I was going to mention this also. New York State, you cannot take in cell phones and start sel taking selfies in the polling booth. Can't take selfies. Can't take pictures inside the precinct. It's illegal according to New York State law from the best of my knowledge. It, they have signs um, hanging up, signs on the tables. This says no selfies, so please don't take selfies in New York State um, at your precinct now. And if you're going to talk about people, candidates, whatever, you got to be 200 feet out from your precinct. Just telling y'all so you know. <laughs> um, but um, like I say, I don't endorse candidates of any way, shape, form, or fashion. I'm I'm not going to 
try to persuade people one way or another. And that's that's between them, the ballot, and the the higher powers that be. Um, and if your candidate wins, more power to you. I'm glad for you. Yeah. Um, also, you know, I know it's, uh, for all of you that sat up and watched all that news all night, mm -mm. I, had to, I had to be up at 6.30 this morning, y'all. I don't like being up that early. Um, but, you know, uh, thanks for, to everyone that supports the channel. Um, you know, I really appreciate it are the ones that keep me going. My ankle's been hurting. I've got tendonitis in my ankle. And I've also had Achilles tendon surgery on both of my feet. So when it starts hurting, I, I get uncomfortable. So it's kind of, at this point, it's a little bit tough to stand to do any long cooking videos at this point. Um, you know, it's just uncomfortable. But uh, I have Campbell's Soup. Anywho, I was just going to check in with you guys. Anyway, I will come back at you in possibly a few days when my ankle's feeling a little bit better. And um, when I can stand up, do a cooking video. And hopefully before long, I can maybe, tr if I do anything at all for Thanksgiving this year, which is highly debatable at this point, um, I may end up you know, trying to do a Thanksgiving haul or whatever, so, um, to let y'all see what I might be cooking if I'm going to cook anything at all special. All right, talk.